What's up everybody? Thanks for dropping in this video. If you're a returning viewer, I greatly appreciate you coming back. And if you're a first time viewer, thank you so much for popping in. I greatly appreciate it. Also, I greatly appreciate Patreon and channel members. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. You allow me to get this testing materials and I really, really appreciate you. I can't say it enough. So what are we doing today? Well, we know red is difficult to engrave with fiber laser. Blue sometimes is, and black is always good. So how about I show you the settings that I use on my 60 watt JPT MOPA to engrave silicone. So we'll do red, blue, and black. And I'll get you those settings here in the video and hopefully get you up and running, marking some silicone for yourself. So the first thing we're gonna do is just hop into Lightburn because everything else, hopefully you know how to do. If not, send me a message, leave a comment, and I'll get you squared away. But 60 watt JPT MOPA is sitting here to my right, and I have it focused to the bottle openers already, so I won't have to mess with that. So you know, make sure, get your focus before you hit the start button. We've all been guilty of forgetting to do that. And let's just jump into light burn. All right, so what I have here is a logo that I'm going to be putting on those silicone bottle openers. And then I have my material library. So let's do the black one first. And for this setting, it is with the 200 millimeter lens. So it's a 60 watt JPT, 200 millimeter lens. And we're running that at a speed of 3000, power of 50, regular fill, frequency of 100, Q pulse of 200, line interval of 0.175, bi-directional fill, scan angle of 45, number of passes two, angle increment. Oh, uh, that should be an odd number, but that's all right. Let's just do 121. But if I ever need to run more than two passes, it'll make sure it's uh, rotated at an odd angle. And that is it. Fill shapes all at once. Make sure we have that checked, not blood fill. But it'll run two passes and get a nice bright white. So let's run this black one. I'll get it framed up and show you what it looks like. Pardon my fume extraction. And here we go. And just like that, we have the black completed. And if you are not happy with it, you can always run additional passes. So let's say I wasn't quite happy. We can run another pass and it might brighten it up. Sometimes it depends on the silicone, the lens you're running, your laser. Uh, you might need three passes or you might need to adjust, adjust the power. But this is ran at a 200 Q pulse and 100 frequency. So even uh, Rakus lasers will be able to do this with no problem. All right, now we have the black out of the way. Okay, here's our black one. That one is complete. Nice bright white finish. Now let's move on to the blue. For the blue and the red, I run the same setting. I'll show you here. We're gonna run a speed of 1000, power of 70, Frequency of 100, Q pulse of 200. So again, it is Rekus friendly or non MOPA friendly. And the key difference with this, and here we go, 121, is I'm going to run six passes. Six passes to get a nice bright white finish. Now, it doesn't take that long to run six passes on these silicon bottle openers. So we're just going to go with that and I'll show you what it looks like. So let's frame it. And we'll hit the start button. Right. 
each pass it starts getting a little bit brighter and takes away the background color after four passes it looks pretty good and then I ran two more and settled on six I thought six gave me the brightest white and again it doesn't take that long This will be the last one. As you could see, you could probably get away with five. I don't think the sixth one adds too much, but it makes it consistent. And here is the blue one again. Nice bright white finish on the blue. Speed of 1000, power 70, frequency 100, Q pulse of 200, line interval 0.175. Scan angle 45 for the first one, number passes 6, angle increment 121 with auto rotate, fill all shapes at once, flood fill is turned off. So let's frame this last one and take a look at it. You'll see the red starts off as that nasty gray looking color. And it starts to lighten up. It takes it a little bit longer than the blue. This red isn't as bright as I wanted it to be, so I'm gonna run one more pass. I'm gonna bump the power up to 80. Let's see what we get. I think that's looking better. We'll run one more. I don't think it's gonna to change too much, but there we go. All right, so this particular red silicone, I did two additional passes and those made a big difference. So now we have a nice bright finish on that red. Of course, you can adjust the power and other parameters and maybe get this to run faster with less passes, but this is at least a good starting point for your 50, 60 watt machines and then just adjust the power as needed for higher wattage machines and if you have a lower wattage machine you're probably just going to need to slow it down so if you're running a 30 watt i would probably drop the speed to 500 and start there and see what happens but that's it nice quick easy video on how to engrave three different shades of silicone all right and there you have it folks getting a fairly bright white mark on red blue and black silicone bottle openers if you have any suggestions for more videos please leave me a comment down below if you have thoughts on this video leave me a comment or just leave me a comment to say hi i appreciate the comments and so does the algorithm but that's all i have for today thank you again for watching thank you patrons thank you channel members and most importantly everyone have a great day and i will see you in the next one